Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this awesome 2022 Ford F-250 XLT. This one has, I think it's a six and a half, or a little bit over six and a half foot bed. One awesome truck. If you need to tow or haul, you really can't beat the ruggedness and towing power of a diesel with a three-quarter ton pickup truck. Uh, we tow lots of vehicles at our store. We have a delivery business and we've towed with half ton, three-quarter ton, and one ton pickup trucks. And it's kind of funny, you know, they have all these half-ton pickup trucks that say, oh, you can tow 11, 12,000 pounds. <laughs> but in reality, when you hook up an 8,000 pound trailer, the thing is sagging really bad, and it's really kind of just pushing that vehicle too hard. Uh, you never want to tow, uh, you never want to tow, uh, you know, 12,000 pounds of a vehicle of like a 12,500 pound tow rating. You want to give yourself a, at least a couple thousand pound buffer zone. And this has plenty of buffer. It's an amazing 6.7 uh, power stroke diesel engine. I was actually reading up pretty uh, recently about uh, this 6.7 power stroke and how it's considered by many, you know, obviously it's up for argument as not only one of, the, one of the most reliable diesel engines, but one of the most reliable V8 engines available in a pickup truck. Uh, obviously I might pain some of the people that are a little bit more well-versed in diesels and power strokes, uh, but for those that, you know, who aren't, you know, the power stroke has had a little bit of a spotty track record. The original, uh, one of the original power strokes that, you know, kind of put the name on the map was the old, uh, was the old uh, 7.3 uh, power stroke uh, that they put in, the, you know, the F-Series and other, you know, Ford vehicles way back in the day. Uh, it was a great engine, you know, some people said that it was a million mile engine if you, you know, followed the Ford service plan. But the problem with that old 7.3 liter uh, power stroke is, you know, by today's standards, it doesn't make a lot of horsepower. I think it was like... 420 pound-feet of torque and a little over 200 horsepower uh, Which you know back in the day it was competitive, but not <laughs> not not today uh, You know now, uh, you know uh, gas a uh, 5 liter v8 and an f-150 Probably has you know has more you know power and more towing ability than that old power stroke and uh, There wasn't really much you could do to increase the horsepower on those old uh, 7.3 power strokes so then uh, they came out with the uh, 6 liter power stroke which was very tunable. You could, you know, take it to a diesel shop and pump out massive power, but that had issues too. There was a uh, thing you could call bulletproofing it where you could, you know, fix some of the shortcomings of the six liter and make it a reliable engine. Um, so they had that for a little while. And then they had a uh, 6.4 liter power stroke, which uh, that one had uh, some number of issues as well. Uh, and a lot of people actually, you know, probably out of out of the power strokes that's probably the ones that you know some people you know want to stay away with the most and this is just you know not fact this is just opinions and stuff I've read about uh, then you know Ford went back to the drawing board and they came out with the 6.7 liter power stroke which uh, you know arguably has a you know really kind of overcame all those shortcomings you know some people said maybe the earlier turbos they put in the 6.7 had issues but you could easily upgrade that to a more reliable power uh, turbo you know, before they, I think they used ceramic bearings in your earlier turbos, and then they they went to like you know uh, st steel bearings, things like that. But all aside from all that, you know, it's been you know very well received, and it's proven to be very very reliable, um, and it makes a lot of power. I think uh, in this configuration, 2022, it's 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque, <laughs> uh, more than double. The power of the original 7.3 liter power stroke. So this thing is a towing machine. Uh, you know, you could, you know, tow 8,000 pounds up the pass, and this thing wouldn't even break a sweat. You'd probably barely even know there's anything behind you. Let's do a rock around of this lovely 2022 Ford F250 XLT. In the XLT trim, you have a nice uh, down-to-business interior, no fancy leather or wood trim or anything like that. This is, you know, kind of more of a work truck. Uh, but that's fine, you know, for a lot of people. We have this nice uh, cloth interior, very comfortable. Uh, the, even though the short seats are manually adjustable, they do have a number of adjustments and, you know, things like that to adjust the lumbar and stuff like that. Uh, great infotainment system. We have a rear parking camera. This one has also an integrated brake controller, which, which you'd expect in a vehicle like this. Uh, we also have an exhaust brake. You can put it on manual or you can put the exhaust brake on auto. This one has 50,685 miles at the time of making this video. Not too many miles for a diesel. You know, these diesel engines are designed to go many hundreds of thousands of miles before needing uh, any major service. Really nice color combination and black on gray cloth. 
We have the nice uh, factory side steps. There's that awesome uh, 6.7 liter power stroke, 475 horsepower, 1,050 pound-feet of torque. This truck looks fantastic in black, really eye-catching. Ford just does a great job you know, designing the F-Series. It's an iconic look. We have a privacy glass. And with four doors, we have a lot of space back here. You can fold up the seats. And this kind of gives you about the same amount of cargo space as the rear cargo area of an SUV, a full-size SUV. So stuff that you don't want to be exposed in the bed to the elements or getting stolen, you have a lot of storage space in here with the seats folded up. Of course, we have a nice uh, factory uh, receiver hitch on this thing. That's, uh, let's see. So uh, with the, uh, with the uh, hitch that we have on this one, it says with a weight distribution hitch, uh, max tongue weight is 1,820 pounds. Max trailer weight is 18,200 pounds. <laughs> so towing 10 or 12,000 pounds off this, yeah, is gonna not even break a sweat with this thing. This thing has some serious power. Well, thanks so much for taking the time today to watch vi this video. Hopefully we see you soon and have a wonderful day.